Hi, this is Jason from J Digital Math Tutoring. As a college student, you'll have to take many exams. Uh, to get into college, you have to take with the ACT and SAT. Now, there's also another exam that's pretty important. It's called the CLEP. Uh, let me discuss why the CLEP is so important. The CLEP is important because you can give you college credit just by taking an exam. So you have to sit through the class and get the credit. You can just take one exam and get the credit. And also, it can save you a lot of money. The CLEP exam itself only costs like $70. So and any particular class that you want to take in college can cost up the words of thousands of dollars. So you can pay 70 to get the three credits, or you can go through the class and pay thousands of dollars to get the credit. So that, like I said, saves you time. You can sit down, study for the exam for in a few weeks and have it down. So sending 16 weeks through a course. Now, the College Board, www.collegeboard.com, a College Board is an administrator of the CLEP exam. They sell these practice exams that have about 50 to 60 questions on them to help you kind of get a feel for what, what questions are on the test. So you can purchase that from them, their website, for about $10. Now, they only provide the answer. They don't t actually tell you how to, to work the problem out. So we're, we're here to kind of help you with that. So we created a tutorial that you can be bought at our website that you can basically see how to solve these particular problems. Now, here's an example of one of the problems from uh, their sample test. And so it says, if log, if log base 4 of y plus 2 is equal to 3, what is the value of y? Now, one thing you need to know for this question is logarithmic form versus exponential form. So logarithmic form is log base b of x is equal to y. Now, in exponential form, you can write, rewrite that as b to the y power equals x. And basically, when you're in this form and you want to solve for a variable that's here, you need to convert it to exponential form so you can solve it. Now, let's say you had something that was in exponential form already. You need to solve for this y. In order to solve it, you need to put it into the logarithmic form so you can solve it. So we're in log form as it is. We want to change it so that it's in exponential form. And then we can solve for the variable. So that says b. So we're in base 4. Raised to whatever is over here is 3. And what was ever in this position, write it over here. Now 4 to the third power is 64. Now, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So it's going to give me 62. So y is equal to 62. So for your exam, you're going to have to, have to know logarithmic form and exponential form. 